Good morning everyone, tip of the morning to you. This is Karen here, tip of the morning with Nextpress or what else. Um, a very good day to you all. Cheers. So today I wanted to share some thoughts um, from my morning journaling about joy. What does joy mean to you? What it means to me? And how we can help you become much more joyful, okay? From me and my beautiful um, mochi balls, okay? They're actually crystals, would you believe? They they um, they look like little marbles. In another video, I'll be sharing um, a little bit more about them in a bit. Um, about, and about all of the new crystal babies that um, I've connected to when I was in Paris coaching and training last week. So that would be exciting. And the new thing, okay, so keep posted, will be, I'll be talking um, about, uh, I'll be doing some guided meditation with crystals uh, for different aspects of how to heal certain areas in our life and in our, in our business, okay? How to become more abundant, how to become more attractive, okay? Because marketing is all about being attractive and attracting your ideal clients to you. So we'll be doing all of that in the next couple of weeks. So that's really, really exciting for me to be able to share that with you all. So today I wanted to talk to you about something very close to my heart. In fact, if my heart isn't joyful, if I don't feel joyful, um, I'm not effective in work. All right. And I don't consider that anyone is. If you're not high vibing, okay, in the vortex, as Adrian Hicks says, you're either high vibing or low vibing. There, there's no two ways about it, or there are two, there's only two ways about it. Um, so where would I prefer to be? To be much more successful, happily successful in my life and in my business, I obviously want to be high vibing. So that, to my mind, is my 100% number one rule in life and in business, to feel joy. Why? Because when I'm in my happy place, I can serve others much, much more. Um, when I'm working in my zone or area of unique brilliance, I can serve people much, much more. I can serve love. I can serve with love because I'm feeling great and therefore I can really, really, truly, joyfully serve and share from the heart. So the key in, in this is connecting to our feelings. Before I start any big, big task uh, uh, of any type of importance as I go through my work day, um, whatever I've got programmed, I will always connect to how do I feel. I will always ask myself, Karen, how do you feel? Do you feel great? And I'll scale it from a one to 10. It's a little bit like, like the, the tapping of EAFT, okay? That technique that you say, how do you feel? Um, if you can't even feel the, or define, because it's not that important to define if you're angry, if you're hurt, if you're depressed or whatever, how do you feel? Do you feel great? On a scale of one to 10, if you feel shitty, it's number number one, that, that area. If you feel fab orgasmic, it's number 10, all right? So our job, our total responsibility, either as a worker, as a manager, as a business owner, as a professional, whatever we do, whoever we are, we can only express our best when we're working high vibing, when we're working with joy. Um, so I always teach my, one of the first things I teach within any of my coaching programs, I will always go to the quadrant, okay, of unique brilliance. And I will always ask, get people to do this very simple exercise. And it's asking yourself in a, the quadrant, you divide the page into four. Top left hand uh, corner is for uh, the things that you do that make you feel fabulous and that you would do all day long with not even charging for it, with not getting paid, because you're in the flow, you feel joy, you feel fab. The second area on, uh, to the right of that would be what you're very good at, but that you would definitely need to get paid and you would be tired at five o'clock in the afternoon after a long day, all right? The bottom left-hand side quadrant or square is where you're average and we really don't um, get anything done when we're average, all right? And then on the, the bottom right hand corner, it's where we definitely don't want to be working. It's where we absolute, as we say in the north of Ireland, shite at it. We do not want to be doing that particular job or tasks or areas of work. As a lot of people will come back to me and they'll say, but Karen, I've just started my business. I'm a one man or a one woman band. And I will say, it doesn't matter, darling. Outsource, 
delegate whatever. Uh, if you are spending more than, if you're spending anything less than 80% of your time in areas that are not in your unique brilliance quadrant, you're, you are F-U-C-K'd in your business. You will definitely be holding your, yourself back, okay? And in many ways, the not outsourcing and the not delegation is another type of hidden, and sometimes not so hidden, procrastination, guys. Why? Because you're actually holding yourself back. You're subconscious, you're unconsciously holding yourself back. And when we journal, when we listen to videos, when we go to courses, when we listen to videos like this, when we go to courses and we actually start to do the inner work and to analyze in some respect what we're doing with our business and with our life, that is when the truth hits us sometimes right between the eyes. I'm not working in my areas of unique brilliance. I'm not feeling joyful. And it's, it's as simple as that. Where and when do you feel joyful? If you're not feeling joyful, and as I say in my intro to my tip of the morning on faith, my Facebook lives, have you lost your mojo in life and in business? It could be, in fact, I would say, apart from this being feeling joyful, my number one rule for everyone, for myself and for my team and for anyone I'm in contact with, feel joyful and you will be successful, happily successful. I, I would also say that we can apply this to our business, okay, into our team members. When you've got a team, when you've selected your team member and somebody even has been working for you for years, as we grow, as the business grows and expands and the products change, okay, because that's natural, all right, you have to innovate. Your team members are also growing and studying and innovating too, as people and as professionals. And if you see that somebody has a, a, a total panache or totally brilliant at one particular thing, it's their gift, it's their God-given gift, why would you not ask them to do more of that particular area? Because my darling, the best team is, apart from having fab communication, apart from having extreme self-respect, and respect and clear, clean, healthy boundaries amongst the team members and out, outside to the clients and the people that work with your business. Aside from that, the one secret sauce, the one secret sauce that you need in your business to make sure that your business and your life is uber happily successful is this, that each team member and yourself work more than 80% or 80% at least or more in their areas of unique brilliance. It's that simple. That, it's that simple, that's the secret sauce to success. So if you do nothing else other than looking for your joy and asking your team members to hold themselves and hold them responsible to feeling joy as they go through their, their day, that you will then guarantee that if they're not feeling joyful, you then start asking them to ask themselves those questions. What am I doing that's kicking me out of the vortex? What am I doing daily that it, I don't enjoy? And if you have to take courageous decisions of letting people go, of adding more team members when perhaps your budgeting for team members and wages, etc., is at the max, that is the leap of faith that you perhaps need to, to consider doing. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but in the very near future for your happy success. Because when you are surrounded, you deserve, we all deserve a rock star team. We all deserve people that nurture us, love us, support us, respect us, honor us in our day to day. So if you are a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur eh, and you have a team or you're thinking of building up a team, ensure that you build your team built basically on joyful day-to-day -day and based on everyone working within their area of unique brilliance so that they that know that they are joyful that they look forward to coming to work that they're learning more and more and growing more and more in that particular aspect of, of your business then you will have a beautifully smooth clockwork uh, mechanism within your, your business structure that will produce happy success. When people are happy, they're much more successful. They will produce better work for your clients. Your clients will get more from for, for their money, etc. etc. It's 
a win-win, a total win-win situation when everyone is joyful when they go through their day. And most times they're joyful because they're doing what they enjoy. They're doing what comes naturally. They're doing what is their unique brilliance and it's their God's gift. It's their God's gift so that they can come and truly serve the world. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the, I hope you enjoyed it. Joy is so important to me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it's sown at least one or two little seeds of success in your in your interior that when you soul search and heart search you know that perhaps you are not working from a point or in a position of joy and that you my darling that is what freedom is all about god give us freedom of choice if you're working today if your business is not bringing you joy aside from the money aside from the ripple effect and the impact for your clients that's important, but the most important is self-care. And self-care is you being joyful, is you working within your unique brilliance. That is your number one rule in business and in life. Sharing that with you, speak soon. Love you, bye.